Thanks for joining us. We've already called ourselves to order. We, need we to have to get out of executive Right, session. we forgot to Make do a that. motion to exit the executive Second. session. All Second. Favor. All in favor, aye. please aye. say aye. Aye. Um, and the, the board went in. Um, because you guys weren't here, we went in to discuss personnel matters and we have nothing to report. We took no action and we are taking no action and have nothing to report. Um, is there public comment for I items not on the agenda? I guess that might be me. Okay, join us on. Um, I'm here because we recently discovered that not all the town hall shutters were painted. And John McCullough and Andy were going to put them up this summer. Uh, David has been in touch with Brady there, who painted the outside of the building, and painted these shutters that are done. Are these, are these the ones that are painted? Um, some of those are painted. Some are painted. Some are Some are. Some are not. These are. Right, yeah. Um, and it was just left. I'm done. Um, so they need to be finished. <laughs> and, and the reason we're here tonight is that <clears throat> Grady can do them this month, but if he doesn't do them this month, it would be December. So, yeah. and, there's a, and there's a cost, of course. So I guess the choice is, does the select board decide to do it this month and figure out how to pay for them or wait until December when he would take them to his shop, right? Wouldn't they, wouldn't they be paid for out of the town hall fund? Well, we don't know if he was already paid. I guess that's one of the questions you asked, and I know he got, I know he got paid in full, but we would have to go back and look at the invoices to see if the estimate included all of the shutters. Mm -hmm. I can probably find the Grady contract, um, whether the original contract included all of the shutters, and if they did, and they didn't get painted, but you said you made mention of an incident where he was told to not paint them, so maybe he right. feels like he did what he was uh, Well, to his do. original quote was just for um, the outside of the building that specifically said not the shutters. Okay. Now the shutters, um, I don't think I was involved in the shutters. I'm not sure. So I don't know. He was told to stop painting the shutters. So I so, of the well, so that but that doesn't show no, because of the person who was managing but, that project, which I think I emailed you. I don't know. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. But that doesn't change the basic fact that um, he provided a quote for X number of shutters. He has invoiced us, and all we have to do is pair up what did he invoice us for? I think. Yeah. And did we did we pay him? Well, and that's the question: is did his, did his original contract? include the shutters and if it did and he got paid in full even and he's going to probably argue that well somebody told me to stop well david's actually been in touch with brady because he was doing an estimate for painting upstairs so david was in touch with him on behalf of friends right and i think, but, I think it was like 47 50. but we just don't have all the facts right now no but no but, and, but either way either way they need to be done so if we haven't paid for all of them then we'll then what do we do? We can take it out of the town. Then we take it out of the town hall. If we still owe him money because we didn't pay him for everything and he didn't do it. Or is it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think well, there's still there's $6,000 in the reserve fund right. in the budget. Right. And I, and I figured it out if it was, even if it was four fifty, a shutter times 12, that's $47.50. 4750 right? Is it $6,000? Is it 12 remaining? Well, or? I'm if every shutter was three hundred and fifty dollars, right, it would be like six thousand six hundred dollars. I yes. I remember he treated us pretty well. Where he did. Oh. Yeah. What do we want? There are twelve at three fifty. It's forty two hundred. Okay. So I so I think I here we need to we need to go back and look at the contract and and the invoices. No, no, will there be time? That's what I want to get to. Was, how, in, in other words, can we warn it for so he, two weeks he, now? Later on, basically, he meant, as I said, to get an es to give us an estimate for upstairs. Mm -hmm. um, by then, this had been discovered. And so I said to him, what do you think? Can you also give us an estimate about finishing the shutters? Right. Yeah. 
he understood, he, he said that there was no way he could do any painting it before December. Upstairs. And right, but I made a, an urgent plea to him for just the shutters to be considered independent of upstairs or anything else. And he came back a few days later with this proposal that actually painting them out in the parking lot in the heat of summer would be much better considering they have to be bleached because of mold contamination that occurred while they were in storage for so long in the storage container. So they are now mold. You know, yeah, they have to be bleached. Right. They have to be painted um, with primer, and then they have to be a couple, two full coats of durable paint. And he wants them to fully dry in the open air environment of the of late August. Mm -hmm. So he has a window of opportunity before he jumps on other clients that are going to take him until. December apparently um, to do this out in the parking lot for two or three days. So we he have estimates uh, David, he can do this. David, the question is: Yeah, if we warn this to let's say we discover, we'll know. Yeah. <clears throat> does he? Do we owe money for it or not? And if we do, and we need to warn it, the soonest we could warn it for is the well, next week. Week. well it, hang, hang on, it happens. Coincidentally, right. that we have a special meeting uh, Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So we can we can add authorization uh, for Grady to move forward and paint, do all the things. Um, and I think that's just the thing, right? We just make the motion, authorize the painting to happen. And we all understand it will be documented in the minutes, and we can say it again when we when we approve that we are figuring out whether perhaps we've already paid for them or not. That's just that's right. just facts that we need to research. Right. Sure. So Wednesday Wednesday night, right? So right. We, can, so we can put it on Wednesday. We can put it on our special we have, meeting. We have one other thing we have to do that night. Yeah. The day after tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, so, so it'll be Wednesday this week. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. It'll be, yeah. yep. I don't know, like it's 7, 7.30, something like that. Six. No, no, no the, the, we have another thing. Right, we, we have, have an executive session. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I guess we'll do it after. So I we have an executive session at 6, but sure. we will like seven, probably 7. 7.30. 7 o'clock if you guys want to <laughs> come back. Yes. Okay. Um, and, and maybe at that point we'll find his original invoice. Right. right. I, have, I have a lot of stuff at home that I scan. Yeah. But, yeah. but, but tomorrow is the election. You're going to be. Right. I'm not, not going to have time to look at this. I mean, for this if season. you're okay right. with this, I can go back to Grady himself and find out. Oh, good. That's good. Right. If he has a copy. You're right. Exactly. You should, because yeah. you yeah. taxes. I don't, okay, that would be helpful. Maybe. Sure. I, it, considering yeah. that he's able to do it now. And that means we can't wait for two more weeks to authorize it. I'm, I feel like we're okay with, we know there's a question, we understand what the question is, we understand how we're gonna answer it. That doesn't need to stop us from approving them to move forward while that information is outstanding. Yeah, so we can just do it. That'll be great. And maybe, you'll have, maybe you'll have some more information for Monday yep. night. Okay, That's good. so okay. Uh, thank, thank you. Okay, yeah. both. Thank you. Great. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, is anybody, we are, we've exhausted our public <laughs> comment time, but is, does it, is anyone, anybody here for a public comment item? An item's not on the agenda, okay. Um, okay, are there any additions and changes to the agenda, team? No. Um, did we send the agenda? No. No. Did we send the agenda? No, no. I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. no on, the, uh, on the agenda it, overall. The, the warrants are in circulation. Right. Um, consent agenda, yes. We are, uh, Denise and I talked earlier. We've had a chance to review some pieces of the outstanding minutes, but, but we are not finished. So I'm going to. Um, pull the three sets of minutes off, um, and that leaves reappointing Sandra Ferber as delinquent tax collector remaining. Move so the consent agenda. agenda. On the consent agenda. Yeah. I'll move the second. Move, move, move it, but with taking the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Second. Okay, so we've moved the consent agenda. 
on the single item of reappointing Sandra Ferber to Lincoln Tax Collector. And, and Mark made the motion and John said. Yes. I mean, Lisa's going to do the minutes from the ORCA recording because she had someplace she had to be tonight. Yep, that so works. So everybody knows. Yep. Okay, so moved and seconded. Any questions, discussion? We're enormously grateful. There's our phone There's call. There's David. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. It's David. He's calling really early, so we're going to have to move things. You got it, Rick? Um, yep. We have the John Reese the application thing first. Right. Is John coming? Is anybody? Hi, David. Are you there? So we can just. You just move. Yeah, this is me. Good, okay. Hi, David. Hi, David. Does anybody Thank mind if, if we flip the Rhodes report and the ARPA request and the ARPA process? Are we okay with we can do those items around, guys? So we would do the ARPA thing first and then do the, the whole road, the road thing. Yeah, after. that's fine. Okay. So, um, David, we are, we've just shuffled our agenda items so that we can move straight to the Central Vermont Fiber. ARPA request for $200,000. So, so the folks in ARPA land know this is David Healy, who's the Callis rep on the ORP, uh, CD5 CD report. <coughs> and, yes, uh, this is David Healy. And he's so calling in. CD5 rep from Tommy Callis. Thank you, David. Uh, is David going to speak to this or um, John Denise going to speak to it? Well, I guess, I mean, for me, David has send us information, which we all have. It's in the Google folder. Everybody's received it. Yeah. There's um, a time a, a time factor involved because if we are going to give CB Fiber the requested amount of $200,000 from our archive, which still leaves us a lot of money, um, we have to do it sooner rather than later because there's a matching fund that would come from the state of an additional $200,000. And they have to have, we have to have time to process and request the check. They have to have time, because you're having a board meeting or something, right, David? Correct, yep. Yeah. We have a, a, the next governing board meeting after you can do this is probably September 12th, which is two days before the debate. So for those who couldn't hear, got the CD Fiber board has a meeting on September 12th. So the, the main thing tonight is to see if the board wants to approve $200,000 out of our ARPA funds to be granted to CB Fiber so they can receive the match. Um, my recommendation is that we do that. We still have $279,000 of ARPA funds. So after we get done with this. Which are federal monies that are granted each of the towns. And then there's a formal area that they use figure out what proportion each town should receive. And this is a, our understanding is this is ARPA funding eligible, this project, which is to build the, seat, uh, the fiber optic lines, the main uh, lines, whatever, backbone uh, of CB fiber network that they're building out in our area. Uh, Calus is first on the list. We're very fortunate because there are a number of towns that are members. Um, and I think it's a showing of good faith because the cost to build out Calus is like three million bucks. So our appropriating 200,000 is a one-to-one -one match. And our appropriating 200,000 would allow CB Fiber to be awarded against that 200,000, yet another 200,000 of federal monies for the project. And you know, I think it, it, it's good faith. And it also, I think it wouldn't look good if we came up short while the towns other, other met towns, the requested amount. Other towns in the CV Fiber District are doing this very same thing. Yes. We had a, David, I don't remember how many weeks ago you were here and you gave us a comprehensive, and again, I'm really saying this for anyone who happens to be looking at this, but um, a comprehensive overview of the project and the timeline and who would be affected, which is pretty much everybody in Calus. So I feel like you've really done, yep. you've done a great job of, of keeping us educated on this project. Uh, so thank you for that. Is there anything you want to add or any other questions from folks on the board? Mark, Rick? No, I, I just want, I mean, I, I hope that you can approve this. And 
the things that I'd like the town to take on in the next you know, couple weeks is figuring out if the proposal that I made about how the money would be spent is good, good enough for you and that you could, you know, review that and then, you know, send in the agreement letter and then if you need to have your lawyer, I, I would suggest having your lawyer review the agreement. Yeah, we are. It, 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 it right. We have, we, our attorney has looked at it and sent us back um, a, some, a few revisions that the board, right. has, the board hasn't had a chance to look at yet. I would recommend and that we go forward with the letter that you suggested, and I'm happy to put it on letterhead, and because we're meeting Wednesday and Thursday, again this week, we could sign the letter and put it, um, and then do the MO, I think it's, it's an MOU, right, David? It's an agreement, yeah. basically a contract. It's, like an, it's, an, it's an MOU, Joe had some, I think they weren't big changes, I did read it. Okay, so, whatever he, Great. Is there a motion um, tonight so on the two hundred thousand? No second. Mark has made the motion. Okay. And I and I'll speak to it. I, I'm really impressed that we have now a total of six applications for possible applications for these funds, and we've discussed criteria. And I feel like we've known from the start, and we've continually agreed that this 200,000 more than meets the criteria. Okay. That any, and so I feel very comfortable. Any criteria. Any criteria with. that we might come up with right. that we haven't come up with. And so I feel very comfortable advancing mm -hmm. this 200,000. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think we're in any way kind of jumping the gun. I think it's really makes like sense. I said, and so have, I support the, the motion I made. 279000 dollars $279, remaining. Yeah. The requests that we've received so far don't come anywhere near that amount. Right. Yeah. But after we get done with this, I have some more thoughts on that. So we're so okay. We vote? No, yeah. To um, yes, all in favor, please say aye. 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 And then Denise, we're going to follow up. Are we, are we adding more items to the special meeting for Wednesday? Um, well, I think I'd like to see us make a motion tonight to approve the letter. I'll put it on letterhead oh. and bring it to the meeting Wednesday night. All we have to do so is sign it. And that substantiates. All that's doing is substantiating the, the $200,000. Yes. Right. I, I, I'm asking because we didn't separately warn right. the item, but it doesn't feel like a separate thing. It's, it's not, not a separate It's not item. separate. It's part, right. of, all, it's okay, part so of this whole package. I'll move that we, uh, that we put that we agree that we are signing the MOU that implements the $200,000, which we just approved. Right, the letter basically says um, on August 8th, select board by unanimous vote committed $200,000 of funds. So do we have a second? I'll second. Okay. And we'll sign that on Wednesday. I'll sign it on Wednesday, I'll get, to, I'll put it, it's short. It's a long so you won't be there to sign John Trent. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Um, and Denise, we're now going on to the, do you want to, yeah. while we're on it, let's go on so to the next David, item. David, I, think David I just want to say, I just want to say, this is, I really appreciate this contribution and it really means a lot to the town and to me. Thank you. No, thank you, thank David. You, David. No, I would, thank you, David. Thank you. And yeah, yeah. David, you're welcome to stay on. We're going to continue to rock, talk about ARPA from a different angle yeah yeah i mean we've talked i've been updating the board on and off about a process um we don't want to do this in the back we want public input um i'm gonna i'm gonna sign off because it's really hard to hear okay, okay, okay. Take care. Bye. we talked about um we Thank talked about a, Bye -bye. A public meeting. we talked about a survey um some kind of criteria for evaluating the requests and here's a new piece um, that I recently learned that some towns are going to take and put the requests on their March meeting warning because it's sort of like when we vote on all of the other um, funds that, you know, for Twin Valley Senior Center and the food shelf and the lot, not the library, never mind the library, um, but all those requests like that, that the voters have an opportunity to yes or no, change the amounts, and if we really want there public process, we can still do an informational meeting, right? but have it be part of 
the, the March morning. Do we have that long? Yes. Yeah. Would we want to have, um, I mean, we haven't had the uh, committee in a little while, but a little while means several years, right? Would we want to do that and have, uh, I mean, right now we don't have so many requests that we have to think about that. Right. I mean, the requests aren't overwhelming. Um, Donna had suggested, I think you suggested using ARPA money for the shutters, right? For what? Did you suggest in your email to use ARPA money for the shutters? Or was that something um, else? Possibly. I, mean, I think some of us would like some of the ARPA money to go into this building. Right. For, st for stuff upstairs, there's the friends have submitted a request for some work to be done upstairs, some, some more renovations. Right. Um, and, and there was one so, one. so to be clear on my point, Denise, I'm not suggesting a committee in lieu of town meeting, only, only that we have, if we got to a point where there were competing requests. Yeah, then that would help. But yeah, I think, I think right now we're not there yet. We're not time. there. I don't know how much we're looking at. You know, we're obviously going to have to have an estimate. Uh, for the work that you want done upstairs. Um, and we would add it to all the other requests and it could be put on the ballot. I mean, no, so, warning. yes, warning. So let's, um, Donna, if you want to ask a question, just maybe come forward or stand, oh, stand up. I, so I just want to know if you, if you mean a committee, like we used to have a committee that reviewed all the requests from the surrounding nonprofits. Is that kind of what you're thinking of? Yeah, yes, that, that was a, a thought that drifted yeah, through my head. That might be a good idea. Yeah, I but we're not there yet. Yeah. yeah, we don't have it would be, we don't have that many requests right. yet anyway. We don't have that many yet, and you want to make it so that the committee probably shouldn't be people that are requesting money. Well, absolutely. Right? But we could charge the committee with articulating criteria if we get to a point. I mean, and it's, what are we, in July? No, we're not. August. August. Still. So, yeah, so we got a, we got a bit. We got, we got, is we there, is there a name? I don't think, I'm not sure how to handle this. I don't think there's a problem delaying from the point of view of one of the applicants, of whom I can't talk as a member of the board, but are, do, do you know the senior center? Any any anybody who like needs the money before? Well, or I'm sure I'm sure people would like the money before then. Um, the East Cal Fire District is here, and I know you guys requested what was it? 30,000. 30, 30, 30, um, Do they have a project that's imminent that needs to be paid for? Mm -hmm. When does that project need to be paid for? Rini or Karen? What are you anticipating you you that us. project to be undertaken? Okay. Maybe next, yeah, next construction season. season. Next yeah. construction. So we have time. So you have time. Okay. So that's good. The, some of the other requests are Curtis Juan Dam wants 30. Um, East Calus Fire District is 30. Twin Valley Senior Center. Up their request to like 18, something or other. The town Hall, um, I've been wanting a generator here forever because it's one of our emergency facilities. Mm -hmm. And Jeremy's got some records to do. Um, but I think overall, most of the requests can can wait and let's put it to the voters, let them decide. So it's their tax dollar. Yeah, so that gives us what I what I like about that idea, and this is not this is not something that we need to vote on even tonight. We're just here to no, we're just discussing it. react to the idea, but I like it. It creates we've been wondering like what is the right process and should we have a you know a public meeting, should we do a survey? And if we are really clear in the minutes that we are putting final decisions off for the voters into March, so far we don't have enough, we don't have so many requests that there's even competition for the funds. No. If there were, we would have to come up with criteria and some process for uh, sifting through recommendations. Right. Right. Um, that gives everybody a little time to breathe. Right, and the money, like I said, the money doesn't yeah. have to be spent right now. I know some towns, and I think they're regretting it now, just spent it 
mm. all right away. Mm -hmm. And now they're like, oh. Now we're out of money? Now, <laughs> now I wish we would have waited because now this has come forward. And we may have, you know, as this year plays out, we may have more ideas for spending some of the money. Um, when the sheets suggested some handrails at the various ponds for people to use, because she said she's getting old, but I don't believe that. <laughs> um, so there's some things like that, you know, that have come forward, and that's, it would be, you know, a couple thousand maybe to put any handrails. But anything that we have, we would want to have um, speed control. A, a quote, right? Speed control? Yeah. yeah so uh, you're okay. But I, we're going to have to have a quote for whatever gets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you want it done upstairs. We know. Okay. So, yeah, so. So, I think, is everybody so I think it's kind of like it? Yeah, for now. Preliminarily, everybody's saying, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so I know some of the other. adding up the current set of requests that remain, that there's still some, there's yeah. a lot of headroom. Mm -hmm. And um, so there may be some other. Yeah. Things. We've got 63. Even the same like board might want to also like seven, eight, eight, eight. Right. We might have some ideas of things that we want to do. I think infrastructure is really important. And yeah. You know, we we're, I think we still should come up with some level of even the software ranking, I think infrastructure like the the C V fiber project. Mm -hmm. That's critical infrastructure yeah. in this day and age. Well, well um, and you know, speed controls or whatever else yeah. comes up. I mean we're still under uh, all you know, stuff that yeah. We're still under, even with the requests we have and the few that recently got mentioned, I think we're still under 100,000. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, and this, and this also might give us an opportunity to say, you know, some of these projects that people have requested money for, maybe the select board will say, look, this is really, really important. And maybe we would consider more. More. Yeah. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We could wander right. on, but okay, great idea. Yeah, let's not. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, so let's... I, do, I do have a question. So, in terms of ex deadlines to expend the money, and I remember some years um, ago there was there was that other grant money we got from the feds, and it had not only did we have to commit to spending it on grant eligible projects, mm -hmm. but the projects need to be completed, and so I think that's important to know too. You know, if we're looking at bigger projects or, you know, we need to have, and we should, if we should have a backup list mm -hmm. in the event that something doesn't happen and we also get approved by the voters, if something screws up a contractor, if something happens to them or they can't get supplies and there's a mm -hmm. completion deadline, then we should have a backup thing that we can just throw the money into. Well, that makes me think of a question that I can ask Bonnie. Um, at CBRPC is if we have money left over, can we create a reserve fund or put it in an existing reserve fund? Yeah. Yeah. Same yeah. fund. Yeah. yeah. That would be great. Okay. I'll ask her that question. Okay. We're ready to circle back now to the roads report. So this is an item earlier in the agenda, but we've covered the ARPA items ahead. So, um, yeah, to, uh, Rick, why don't you go ahead and speak yeah, to the right away. The big thing on the, I've got the Reese. Good, that's nice. Yeah, that's good. Right. Uh, the big thing oh, on the okay. agenda for that is the Moscow Woods boils, the five boil sites that they're going to be repairing. So they're, he's just now trying to organize, the Alfred's trying to organize the staging for that. Hang on, Rick, just so I'm clear. Are you speaking now on the right no, we're no, talking about not. roads report. You're on roads this report. This is yeah. This is the the um, clay boils. The clay boils yeah. on Moscow Woods. There are five of them where we have mud holes basically, and they're being repaired. So this is work is going to commence right around the fifteenth. It'll probably take you know up to a month. Probably won't take a month. Probably be between two and three weeks. Uh, he's starting with the first two, which are below or between 14 and Ledge Road, and he'll work his way up the road. And we're going, it's probably tomorrow, or I'm actually gonna put a post on Front Porch Forum tomorrow night, warning about this. As soon as Alfred know, has the material staged and knows that starting date, I'll put that on Front Porch Forum. I'll put it on my website, on, on our website. We'll make sure that the, we get it on the town 
website as well. Right. Indeed. And then we'll just update it as it, as it's going to be a moving. Well, the property it's going to close the road, right? It will close in one direction. Oh, okay. Yeah. So right. basically, so there'll be like five directions. There will be sections, you know, a seg where they work. They'll be working a boil at a time. So. So like they'll probably divert traffic onto Jack Hill. Or right. Something. You're instead of or going down, down, down the down Ledge Road, here. people instead of going to 14, they're going to have to go back to Lightning Ridge. Is, uh, so I think the answer is no. I mean, they're going to get front porch forum no direct notification to the. Uh, I, th I don't know if Alfred... Alfred he, says he, he does that. He usually does with roads for like every, that. So for every... Probably people have impacted, but I think we'll... It could be any, it could I'll be have to ask several, him that. I mean, there could be a lot. It could be a lot. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, is I'm not sure. I don't know. And, yeah, and if he I has think, to knock on everybody's door. Yeah. I think it's it's not... It's going to be a little bit of a inconvenience. It's not like they're being locked in their houses. They're going to have to divert right, around right. so people can get in so. we, should, we should also let the fire departments know if, yeah that's a good idea when yeah, you do your front porch forum thing we can send it to um i can send it to chance and to yeah larry, and to larry brown and or toby or yeah and that's toby. good larry and toby. <coughs> um, i'm sure uh, and i can send it to chance who else should know um obviously the town office should know and they're going to know when you, they see the front porch forum posting, but we should just give them the courtesy of letting them know ahead of time. Yeah. I'm sorry, say that again. I'm just getting. Okay, so we should notify the two fire departments. Yeah, I'm yeah, getting that. Yeah. Okay, we should notify as a courtesy, let this uh, town office staff know. And I would post it on front porch forum at least a couple of times because I'm not everybody to. gets it. All yeah. at the same time, if you send me the notice, I can send it to Jamie for posting on the town's website. Is that, and you said it's starting next week? Rick? It's the, around the 15th. He's, okay. it depends on how fast he can get the material stage. So that's Monday. Yeah, he should know in the next few days. Since I have that, I, would, I was actually going to put this out tomorrow saying it's going to be on and around the 15th mm -hmm. for the ensuing three weeks or so. Okay. So, uh, and then I'll update it as it's I get information. I'll put it right three on. Weeks, then it's cool. <coughs> right. Right. He's we trying to get it done. I was going to say, we don't want it so that it messes up the bus routes. Yeah. So we're trying to do that. Right, that's yeah. right. Goal. Yeah, he's, okay. That's his, okay, so he's on that piece. Yeah. Okay. Because if, yeah, if it's not going to get done if the weather turns bad then I'm we should say possibly let, we should like cat, cat fair and all actually they, or the, the supervisory, supervisory, the supervisory union. union yep i'm trying to think what else um it's not like it's heating season so there won't be a lot of oil trucks come in to fill up people's oil well the, there'll be markers Right. Yeah. yeah so it's mean, not there. So we can only we can only do so much. Yeah, it's just a season. You know, there's there's right. detours. And at least it's not going to be detoured at the same time they were doing stuff in on Route 14 in East Callis. This is true, although by chance. Right. Right. Yeah. right. yeah. So everybody will be pissed, pretty pissed because they have to go through the guidelines on the. Yeah. Right. Well. Yeah. Right. Top is pride. They'll be happy. They'll be happy when they're on the Yeah, that's yeah. That's, that's, that's the right. Um, what else, Rick? That's the main important thing right now. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so that's it. So are, are we ready to move on to the right of way? To the right yep. of way, and then just we have down this memo for the road crew. Right. Let's About go the standards. The right of way, Rick. Did you connect with Alfred on um, his recommendation on this? John Reese, is it Reese? Yeah, I could. Reese. I couldn't get him to. I called him this morning. I did. I forgot to talk about this with him, but I'm pretty psych. It says this is the driveway. Mm -hmm. Work in the highway right of way. Other, he says driveway. Except it to be. What is that? Corded. Is this copy? Copy. Recorded. No, that can't say it's not to be recorded. It looks like corded. To be accepted to be corded under road. That must be hook up. Hook up. If it's corded. I don't know. Hmm. I've never heard that term, so I'm not sure what it's doing. It looks like it's corded. Usually what Alfred says is they can do the work under the road. They have to dig down so many feet. Mm -hmm. If they go down, then they have to 
um, replace the gravel with new gravel. Compact right? everything's got to be compact. compacted. Yeah, right, properly. Do we, do we want to? Um, I mean, this we. I don't believe that we've heard from the property. This is this is. He's out of town. Yeah. So so can this? Um, I don't know when they want to do the work. Yeah, but. Can this wait? Until yeah. Can yeah. can this wait? Alfred's out of town. No, no John sorry. Reese. John Reese lives out of town. Oh, he lives out of town. But we right. haven't heard from him. Oh. I guess I'd want to hear from Alfred. Yeah, yeah exactly. definitely. I don't, I don't think it matters if we hear from the. I mean, we haven't heard from him that there's an urgency. Right. No, we haven't. We have not heard from the landowner that there's an urgency. I would want to hear from Alfred. I would say we yeah. defer yeah. on yeah. this. Yeah. Okay. So okay. we defer. So we're going to this to table this one. I think this project is John because you know he owns the the mill. The mill. He'd like to do things with the mill, and he purchased the house across the street running it out and he did that in part so that he could access the maybe this um, septic so that to do something right? well i think well and i think we just need alfred right who probably he's knows just gotta get he's gotta and, bless this for and the timing needs to be coordinated with right yeah, right 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 okay so so i think we should continue yeah so, so we're just, just so we know we have a project a major drainage project yeah. right we need to talk about work so that needs to be beyond that we run under the nose of the engineers who design oh that's that. the east cal stormwater project right. yeah right yeah no no the that we have a well, yeah project. yeah there is but that's what yeah, it's that village but know, that's what it's called erosions. right that's what he's talking about this is going to go across to that property he built that might interfere with some of the culprits i don't know Alfred might know, and that's and so we're, that's, that's what we're talking about. The East. To make sure we all know. Who's gonna so, we're gonna, so we're going to table this for now, and Rick's going to follow up with Alfred. Yeah. yeah. And it's called it's East Cal Stormwater right. Project. You're right. Yeah. 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 Okay. And, and we're going to need to make sure that you know it could be that there, a conflict is inadvertently mm -hmm. created, you make and it that they have to yeah. understand that their pipe could get busted, mm -hmm. and there may be a cost to them that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I offered the same thing. Rick, you should know you really have to put out. And don't take, don't take, I mean, if he doesn't really know the answer to the question that John raises, you should tell him he's a good friend of John's. So, so we have to. Well, I'm, we've got to talk to the engineers on right. the project. Well, this is this goes beyond that, Alfred. That is, yeah, this question about conflict of interest. So, yeah, I don't know that they do projects together, but so, um, so I have it noted. But there's an engineering, there's design, plans, yeah, so we need to make sure this all. Right. Right. And Rick and I have been working on that project with CVRBC. We're so waiting for to hear. Rick from can yeah. reach out. Right. So yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm noting this right. not before the 22nd of August, and is it we'll 22nd? Yeah. It's Monday. Uh, in two tweets from tonight, so yep. we see right away, and we will. It may. It may still be premature. It may be. Well, and Rick can let us know right. in advance if you don't have all the pieces, then we're no point in putting it on the agenda. Right. And so, yeah, so yeah. Alfred, we may end up talking about it, raising all these issues with Alfred here, mm -hmm. and, and not, um, it's still not fully made. And, you know, right. we need better plans in this. I cannot read these and not read yeah. my eyes. I expand. It's just a blur. Uh, I, I'd like to know, is a septic system a pressurized system? or a old-fashioned, you know, uh, mm -hmm. gravity system, because the gravity system uh, is not going to be deep. And is this a, and and is this a mound? Can you tell? I, well, I, I can't tell. I, to some the lands are horrific in terms of quality. Just the quality of this. Well, it's so small. Actually, you're raising an important issue, because if John's, I mean, I don't know what the prototype is for the department of view is here, but and I hate to see us get into a situation where we improve this, mm -hmm. and it turns out that John wants to intensify the use of the mill, and that the requirement of that intense use, which may be a great thing for us, it's not necessarily bad. Right. I don't have an opinion on that. But that intensification can't be supported 
by the septic system. Right, but I don't think I don't I don't think that's beyond our that's that's, that's, that's beyond our proving the we're we're not we're not looking at whether the septic system is big enough. We're not looking at any of that stuff. And he's got Chase and Chase, so, so okay. they'll, be, right. they'll be on that. Okay, I would like to move along. Yeah, me too. We good yeah. folks? Okay. Um, Denise. Yes. Members of the road crew on confirmed. Yeah, that. I forgot to bring my copy, but I sent it to everybody, yeah. and, I, and I put it in the folder. I mean, is that, Barbara's already printed. I already asked Barbara who printed off six copies of the road mm -hmm. and bridge Sanders as we adopted. Nothing's changed. Um, and I guess one of my questions was, I assume that, thank you ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you Saturday. Do we want to note for the record who was here and has just left because- Yes, okay, so for the record who was here, there was Rena DeGoss, Karen Bunnowith, and I think everybody else is still here, right? Yeah. Nobody else left. Oh, I don't mind being part. Okay, David Sheets. Who were they here for? I think they were just here to hear about ARPA. The ARPA. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 These towns. Uh, uh, these towns. Fire district. Fire district. Uh, mm -hmm. David, and I may be part of it, if that's okay. You're excused. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you for coming. Well, and while we're on it, Donna Fitchin Don, and is here, and Don McCall is here. Donna spoke earlier, so <laughs> Carol will have her, and then Larry Bush is joining us. There. There. Now All we right. got everybody. Now, now Lisa will be able to get it. There's no such thing as an anomalous that's right. No, 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 you can't be in office. Can't be. Okay, so Denise circulated a memo, and the point, just to recap, so um, two meetings ago, we... July 25th. One meeting ago, we mm -hmm. confirmed the Callis Road standards, and we thought that we would not only confirm them, but actually take... Readopt. Readopt, and, but, but take the additional step of actually asking Alfred to meet with the road crew, go through the standards with them, and then ask each of the road crew members to confirm in writing through signing Denise's memo that they have participated in, in the training, which I guess probably takes the form of a conversation, ask questions, let's go through this. Um, and do so in writing that we can have for the files. That's what we're talking about. So the right. does not indicate the training, just they indicate what we've read on. Well, and, and it says if you need help or you would like right. additional. Well, and, and, state of training. And it's, well, when I say training, I'm, I'm, all right, then let me rephrase it. Um, I didn't mean like a formal training, but I do think it's worth asking Alfred to actually go through this in a meeting, go through them. With the crew. With the crew. That's what I mean when I say training. Well, I can also <laughs> add to the memo that Alfred will be scheduling a time to meet with the crew to review the standards. Right. I would have him sign it after that. Right, after, right. After, yeah. This is what's going to happen. Yeah. And then after that, if you, you have any more to, questions, no. Well, let's articulate a, a by, you know, by date certain. Did I put a date certain on there? I thought I put the end of August. Did you? August 31. Okay, perfect. So, I'd forgotten that piece. Okay, so by August 31, you will have a meeting, go through standards, entertain questions, everybody gets a chance to digest it, and then they'll all sign up on the date Right. Memo. Is there a motion to approve the memo with the addition of <coughs> that's discussed. With the addition of the training. So right. moved. Yeah. I'll move. Okay, John's motion breaks second it. Second comments. All in favor of Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you, Denise, for doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we are on end of the year. Fiscal. Okay, so Donna will be impressed. I actually understand some of this stuff now. Uh, I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we ended the fiscal year June 30th. Now we're in FY23. So I've been working with um, mostly Wendy at NEMRIC on this. We ended the year, fiscal year of 22 in no in the red total. So what we do have is we have um, not in the red, yeah, in the black. In the black. We're in the black. In the black. Right. Yep. Um, 
um, we're in the negative in highway by $12,182.76. General government, we have a, I don't know, surplus probably isn't the right word, but the carry forward of $85,783.85. Out of that, oh, and I was gonna mention to David while he was here. We have a couple of things that because we don't have a treasurer and we knew some things would fall through the cracks. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of items that need to be followed up on. Um, we have outstanding a $1,253,000 um, hazard mitigation grant payment from CBRPC, remember we were working on that hazard mitigation thing? Yeah, yeah. And we had been attending <laughs> meetings and we were all documenting our time so it would be an in-kind. Yeah. We didn't come up with enough in-kind. I remember that. So we have like $1,200 that we need to pay. Yeah. Okay. The other one, and this is what I've got to follow up with David and the HPC on, is the CL, Maple Corner CLG grant. It's showing a negative balance of $8,082.50. Um, so I've got to follow up with the HPC, who was handling, I think the HPC was handling this grant administration um, and see where we're at to get reimbursed. So that will bring it flush. Yeah, flush, that's the word, flush. Um, we do have, and I sent everybody the stuff that Wendy sent. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, I know, we had a loan payment that was due by the end of FY22 for $66,000, and I haven't figured out yet which loan that is, but um, that's gonna get paid, it got paid in July of this fiscal, uh, in July, so it brings it into FY23. So we'll actually end up showing that we've made two payments to this loan in FY23. By the time we're all said and done with zeroing out these different items, we are gonna have left over about $7,000. But, so but the 7,000 carry forward total, what would have happened if we had made a payment? Well, okay. On time. Well, then we'd have. Then we have a negative. Uh, no, we'd have a, We'd have more money left over. Well, I, I guess I don't understand. Well, it would have been a. The logic to your it question. It would have just. It would have been a neutral transaction. Because it's a capital transaction. Right. right. Yeah. So it's just then the, the rest. of The balance goes to the reserve. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. We just. So we have a seven thousand dollar carry forward. Carry forward, which would go into our. Um, Oh, I can our never capital wait. construction. No, our, no, our no. There's capital. nothing. I mean, I mean, our. Uh, there's nothing left in highway to put in anything. In we put that in reserve. How we in uh, reserve fund? Don't it we goes. Assessment. We have like five hundred thousand dollars in our fund balance, which is like a surplus mm -hmm. to pay our bills, so we don't have to and take out a loan. Mm -hmm. It just goes in there. Right. It, yeah, and 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 to just be clear. It's it's not a surplus. It is the it it's is, a fund it, balance. It's a fund balance that we started. Well, Sandra Donna, started it, I think. Or did or you start it? Donna was still with us. In any did case, you start it? it's what rescues us from having to borrow money each year in, in anticipation of taxes. Right. So, so we, we don't, don't want to call it a surplus because that we don't want anyone to misinterpret. Right. Budgets are a, an estimate, so it, it's our. It's our slush in case well, we override. It's not, it's it's not, not a slush, slush but it's it runs. A, it's it's called effort. a contingency. So I think Sandra, contingency fund. Sandra always called it a contingency <coughs> yeah. fund because what it does is exactly mm -hmm. what Sharon just said. It, it, prevent, it keeps us from having to take out a loan in anticipation of taxes. Because right. that loan, every time we took one out, we had to pay interest. Right. Right. So between right. Donna and Sandra, they guided us, thankfully, right. in this direction. The auditors love our fund balance. Yeah. Right. So right. It means that because taxes come in in generally August and September. In September and November. Right. And we spend money before then. And so this, otherwise we have to get a loan. Right. This fund that Denise is talking about is the cash that's available for us to spend so we're not borrowing. I'm really saying that so that yeah. people so it's clear understand why we have all this money quote sitting around. It's it's 
it's yeah, it's not really sitting around. It's going to get spent it gets on spent. expenses between now and the collection of our total taxes. Because remember, right. the first payment is only half of That's right. what we need right. so to run the town. Fund. It's a reserve it's fund. Not, no, it's, it's not a reserve fund. A reserve well, it's not a fund. It's different. Fund is, a reserve is fund. what you build so that you're, you know, basically, I think of a reserve is kind of like a capital price. And a reserve fund has to be established and warned and voted. Right. So this is not that. This is, this is saving us. It's money that we have so that we can spend money before people pay their taxes. Right. And we don't have to borrow money and pay interest. Right. So, so I want to be really clear on yeah, what yeah. it's called, contingency. No, we kept, we in the schools, we kept a 5%. And it was right, and that literally... Was fund. Well, it was, well, it didn't. It didn't get spent unless, it, unless you had it unpredicted. But that was different. That yeah, was that's different. Yeah, that's totally different. That was that was different. No, no, it's this not. Is, this no. is not. This is all about cash flow. This is not that. We, we, we okay, start with the right word, and you see the word contingency. It's not a surplus. It's it's a fund, so the long term is it's a it's money so we don't have to borrow before taxes come in. That's right. So we can keep the, we can keep the town going without a loan. That's so we're right. Collecting interest instead of paying. Okay. All right. Yeah. We well. Yeah. And we'll Sorry. make sure everybody has a chance to understand. Right. Okay. All right. Is Thank there you. anything? Okay, Denise. The next item is also yours. I'll raise Denise to draft right. and send Alice to speak to that. Um. Nemrick suggested, given our current situation with an audit pending, that we put together kind of the sequence of events and the fact that we don't have a treasurer. We're going to be hopefully advertising again very soon. We can tell. We can talk about all the time we spent advertising, the offer we made, all of that stuff. And so I'm proposing that I will draft that. I'd like Sharon to review it and have it ready for Sullivan and Powers. So that they know, so they know we know, right? That, and that yeah. yeah, and it will include what we mentioned last time as well. This is, this point is really important to me. That if you're constantly chasing a hire that may not come, the fact that we just took a breath and said let's make a plan in case we don't have that, that's I think something we should be really proud of doing. Can we clarify for the consuming public? Sullivan and Powers is. Oh, Sullivan, and, is. Sullivan and Powers is our outside auditor that does an audit once a year. Nemrick has been right along doing the monthly reconciliation, they call it, mm -hmm. which is what I send around to everybody to look at. It's usually like 50 or 60 pages. They do that monthly reconciliation. It was 74. The last one was 74. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I had a bunch of questions which he answered, so that was good. Uh, Sullivan and Powers does our external yeah. audit. And, they, we, yeah, right. and they've been doing it for several years. We actually went from not getting a very good grade to having a really good grade. We're going to get done this year. Yeah, we will. We're, we're going to get done because of the situation with no treasurer. Mm -hmm. um, we know that. We're trying. We're going to advertise again. As Sharon mentioned, we weren't having good results. When we posted, we know the hiring market in Vermont and everywhere else has been really terrible, just to find anybody for anything. So, I mean, it's not like we haven't been trying. So this memo is a memo going to our auditors. To our auditors, Sullivan and Powers, kind of laying out the sequence of events, why we are where we are at right now. And what our next steps are. And what our next steps are. Yeah. So that they, so that it's like confessing ahead of time. Right. We know that this is, a, you know, this is a problem. We know this is a problem. Yeah. yeah and I, we're I, trying. I, I move that Denise and Sharon be authorized. Denise be authorized to grab the memo, Sharon to review it, and that they are authorized to send it to Sullivan and Powers. I'll second that. Okay. Any other questions? Conversation about it. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Denise, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank yes. you both. No, I think it's, um, okay. we, and we're not alone. No, we're not. Denise has regular conversations with the NEMRIC team. and NEMRIC, by the way, for the record, is the New England Municipal Resource Center, right. and which helps many cities and towns, and one of the functions they perform are periodic audits. 
right? And they are currently doing for a lot of other towns what they are currently doing for us because other towns can't find employees either. Right. So we are not alone in this in this boat, in this ship that we keep trying to keep sailing and going through the well, that is going the through the waves, but we are not the only ones. So when people say, I we haven't got this done yet, we are not the only ones. We are not. Right. And um, and never can confirm that. Right. Okay, so perfect segue yes. to the next item. So I will so you can have a breath please. I will speak to this one. Um, under personnel report, the first item is asking the board to formally um, approve the creation of a treasurer slash business manager job um, position. Job description. That's not the, that's the position. position. Well, it's both. The, the, the position. Both. That's the uh, that's the next item. I thought I'd fix that. Um, approve the creation of a treasurer business manager position in town. Is there a motion? So mm -hmm. moved. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. So others can weigh in too. So Denise just gave the you know some of the history that we we posted the treasurer position. If folks know we had um, a candidate that we worked with for a period. We've had other candidates, some conversation, various um, levels of it's right fit. Right, say the right fit. Correct. Various levels of right fit that um, ultimately means you know where we are now is we don't have somebody. So we had this idea that um, Denise and I, and we work on different personnel issues of you know what if we bring together the treasurer function. We've talked about trying to um, taking some steps to outsource pieces of it that are more day-to-day, -day, very tasky. That's a, that is very possible to do. And at the same time, bringing in the, we have just kind of referred to as a select board assistant, but bringing that position to something that would allow a broader range of activity, more direct work with the board, because the treasurer would report to the board, but now be as a, as a business manager for the board actually working with us and supporting our work. We thought that might be a, a, quite an interesting opportunity for somebody to be really involved well, I, in all right. different kinds of ways. I mean, it, the, the position could have more varied duties, which right. might attract different types different of candidates. candidates. For instance, doing the NEMRIC, um, some, of the, some of the NEMRIC stuff. If somebody has, has some experience they're smart. They right. can be taught the NEMR, some of the NEMRIC stuff. Right. Um, so we just need somebody who's, you know, organized, smart, smart, can manage a project, detail oriented, and likes a variety. Right. So we spoke to this last time, but we hadn't specifically warned it, and so tonight we warned it for approval. There's a motion made and seconded. Anybody else want to ask questions or weigh in on it? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. So do we? <laughs> So we've created the position. position and we have approved, we have duly warned in an open meeting and created the, pos and, and created the position for the town. Now, uh, at the last meeting, two weeks ago, um, the board asked me and Denise to work on a job description, which we have done, mm -hmm. and you have seen, and it is here tonight for us to I sign. Posted, right? Well, no, we have not posted. We will. No, no, we're not posting it until we get all these other pieces done. That's right. First, we approve the job description, and then, and then Denise and I will. I didn't warn this, but you know, we'll we have approved the job description, and we will get it posted post haste. Okay, I move that I'll just put a motion on the floor mm -hmm. to approve the job description that you drafted and to authorize its posting. I'll second that. Any comments folks want to make? So I actually, I do want to say that um, here's the job description. It's done. Denise and I have worked on it. Um, and a new practice, Denise mentioned this last time, and we are <laughs> very excited about this new practice. Everybody will sign this. And it'll go on the website as signed by the board. And 
so people know that this is a board approved position. Yep. Do you, are you ready for that? Um, I just want to say that out loud. So um, the motion is made and seconded. Did we already vote on this one? No. All in favor of the job description that you've seen? Aye. 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 Okay. I'll pass around for signing. Um, okay. The next item, we talked last time uh, on the 25th um, extensively about the Director of Public Works position. And we, Mark, you were chairing that meeting. I was on, uh, away on, and I was participating by phone. Uh, we committed to reflecting on the input that we had and uh, uh, working to incorporate the feedback into the job description. Um, and I just want to have, we're doing okay on time tonight, guys, so we can have a little bit of discussion about uh, where we are, and then ultimately you'll see that um, I'm hoping that you will authorize me and Denise to revisit the job description based on what we took away from last time, what we hear from our reflections, and we write the job description, so ultimately it's our job to incorporate to the extent that we that we um you know find things that we want to incorporate um and that so I, want, I just want to open it up for the for that discussion maybe i'll just start over with you john so i just want to understand that there's going to be a motion to authorize you all to revisit the job description that we previously Put together, yep, um, and discuss and approved and, and, and approved, approved in June and uh, allow Denise and Sharon to incorporate your feedback, incorporate what the board wants to do with the position at this point, board's feedback, and make tweaks to the job description if, if necessary based on what we hear tonight. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, so you've had but, you've been thinking about this be non stop a, for but two But you will weeks. be in a position to post it. That's what we hope. Yeah, that's yeah. what we hope. Yep, and post. That's, that's a That is absolutely part of that motion okay. coming up. But but first, you know, we, we, we promised the folks who came and, and offered comment, comment that we would consider um, and reflect on it, which we've, we've had a couple weeks to do. So, John, thoughts that bubble up for you about things that well, we I, might want I know um, I'm not trying to make it less of an issue than it, it was in, for many people, but there's a lot of focus on simply the title of the job. Yeah, right. And less focus on the details of what that person would be doing, uh, responsible for, for doing as in, in that position. And um, I, I don't see an inconsistency with the job description the fuller job description and, and with the title. Um, and there was some tongue in cheek um, you know, criticism um, that you know we don't have a sewer plan and this isn't Boston or whatever or Newark. But um, you know we do have infrastructure here. Um, we now we're talking about fiber and how that all sugars out to on the road. Um, but these are all the things that day to day we've been handling and folks should also remember that this volunteer board actually has been active in many respects as managers mm -hmm. and it's impossible frankly for us to manage adequately the daily affairs of this town in this day and age um, by showing up twice a month for two hours. And so the only alternative currently is for us to do what we have been doing, and that is, you know, and the idea of full transparency is a lot that goes on behind the scenes because we don't have a full-time manager who can do this stuff transparently. So we're doing this by telephone and, you know, single emails, and, you know, it's just not a healthy situation. It's not healthy for any of us. It's not healthy for anybody who wants to be a psych board member. member. Uh, in the future, in terms of getting interest in this job, because it is too large to volunteer. Well, it gets bigger. And we don't, frankly, we can't, it's impossible to do a good job without between meetings 
huge investments are going to be in an effort, and even still, it's not going to be the quality um, that we would see from having to work. Someone full time reporting to us, like much in the way Alfred does, um, and, and Sam, we used to, um, and Don used to, um, as treasurer, um, on what was accomplished in the prior two weeks and month and mm -hmm. quarter and all that. Um, we don't have that. And so this is important. Um, uh, I think the title is fine, despite the pushback we got from some members of our public. Okay. Mark. I, I thought we had some really interesting testimony. One of the points that was made was, I, I felt like a lot of people were sympathetic with the idea that we just can't handle it all. And as one person said, things are falling through the cracks. So I'm not worried about that. The question is how to configure it. And one of the suggestions was that we should, that really we were talking about a series of um, needs that was broad enough that we should think about town manager rather than treasure. And I thought about that. But we're not on treasure now. We're on I mean, reports. Okay. Reports yeah. And I thought about that really carefully. I think that it was well-meaning and I don't think the first people saying it were saying it because so, they were particularly worried about the title. I think they were saying it because they thought there was a rather broad need and were wondering is public works director or not. And I thought about it, and I think what I've concluded, and this is all my way of saying, I support the position as, as the treasurer. No, okay. no, I mean, as, I'm sorry. Yes. As, as the director of public works. I think that um, with the approval of the treasurer town manager position, yeah. Treasurer, we call it treasurer business, business manager, manager yeah. position. But it's a kind of business manager for the position, board. Yeah, for the board. And a director of public works who is also charged with grants, and I'll get to that in a minute. Mm -hmm. That I think if you guys are thoughtful and careful, we can cover the issues we want to cover. That in a bigger town than us, maybe the town manager title might be appropriate. But for us, I think the pair of these individuals will cover what we need. So I support moving ahead as planned. I think you should. I really appreciate that we were given, maybe by you, a, um, a description of a, of a prior position that was created. I just want you to do the due diligence, which I know you've already been doing, thinking through, have we covered it all? Second, I really like the idea of the uh, director of public works being charged with grants in the broadest sense because I think there's money out there that goes beyond roads that we could get. And I think that that's really important. So that's all I have to say. Good luck. I'm totally in favor of the motion. And I thank you in advance for your work. Thank you, Mark. That's right. Yeah, I really support the DPW position. One thing I picked up from meeting, I actually less support of a town manager type because that overlaps into a lot of planning and, and it actually we're we're we kind of conceived this in the sense of infrastructure management and grant management, things like that. It's hard. We need to have some discipline in keeping, not drowning that person, right? This is, we're still a small town, so we need to make, we're gonna have to feel our way into this to be able to find out what that sweet spot is where we can manage appropriately. And it's real easy to expand this beyond what it can, what one person can conceivably do. So I really, the public works director idea really keeps that to me in, it defines it into that infrastructure support area. 
I really think it's important in this, and I love the way this whole treasurer administrator position has come together because the grants management is, is almost a, it's a mutual effort. It's, mm -hmm. You've got an accounting side to this, a treasurer side, and then you kind of have the physical grant itself, you know, the, the constraints that are on that and, and what it's supporting. And this, this is almost a, it's going to take a really good collaborative effort between the DPW and the treasurer and even the town clerk and some, you know, that's going to be a triangle and certainly the select board. But John's right, you know, we can't, we are, we can't be buried or mired in that deeply in those roots. I mean, we, we, we can't do our jobs well. I mean, we, it, it's select board members, we have limited time. These are, this is a very full-time job. Yeah. So I think I think going at this with discipline, all the ideas are really good. I think we have to not try to open the floodgates right away. We write this in a way that we have that possibility, to, you know, to cover a lot of areas. But we step in very methodically, let this person get their their feet on the ground, and we build that. Build where we're going. And we say, okay, these are this is our first priority. And we're going to expand into this as we get some familiarity. I think that's the real path for success for us. Yeah. So I definitely like just in the name. I think I think DPW is. So would you make? So I'm hearing that um, you're comfortable with what we what we've worked on I'm already. Very comfortable with what. And you're comfortable with the town. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Denise. Yeah, I mean, I think I've done. I did a lot of research before the job description was even written for other towns and looking at job descriptions, VLTC has job descriptions. So we looked at a lot of job descriptions and this really, from what I read, this is really what we're in need of, is somebody to manage buildings. We spent a ton of money on this building and somebody needs to be on top of, you know, shutters. The shutters, yeah. right. Is the, is, the, is the roof okay? The town office, you know, they need to probably have a heat pump thing put in over there. There's work that should be done in the town garage. There's all kinds of grants to take care of. Um, and as Mark said, there's money out there. We just don't have anybody to go get it. Yeah. And I really, I really appreciated hearing people's thoughts on it. They weren't all positive. Um, but I'm glad we heard what people had to say. I think that was productive and to remind us. Um, so I'm really comfortable with, you know, I was kicking around some other job titles in my head and I keep, I, none of them really fit except Director of Public Works. Since I've been on the board, which is a long time now, I mean, the, what we need to do for this town has grown. And we showed in the budget that we have in the current budget, the money to pay for this position. And and I'm going to augment that point, even though I'm interrupting you. What John said it several times last time. Augmenting it by recognizing where those functions are already budgeted right, they're already as a general there. matter. Yes. They're just yeah. the price we're not we're not taking money from the library. No. To it's yeah. within because I know that that was some concern and I hear yeah. that concern. I don't blame people for raising it and wondering. But it's in the current budget between select board administrator. We had a grants administrator in there and there's a couple other functions I can't remember off the top of my head now. But it all came together to fund that position. And as Rick mentioned, the select board, um, the treasurer, and the business manager are going to have to work together right. closely on grants and doing capital budgets. Not just yeah, capital budgets. Not, we really need not capital just the budget. highway, but for the, but for the whole town. Right. And strategic. Yeah. yeah. I, I, was, I was expecting that I would hear, we would hear, I would hear, Denise, I would hear from you guys that you had some tweaks. We were open to different titles. I'm entirely open to different titles because I kind of feel like, and I said this last time, we struggle with the title, we can change the title. Right. Um, it's not a big deal. On the other hand, um, we have a lot of other things going on, and if we can be comfortable, even the other thing we could do is we could go through and we could take out references to sewer. 
However, yeah, overwhelmingly, um, the job description fits what the need is, and those things to me feel on balance. If we don't feel strongly about it, n not worth slowing down, printing it out again, signing it over again, retitling it, getting it back out on the website. Instead, we can, I think we promised we would post it again. Yeah. So if we're comfortable that it may not be 100%, it may be 90%. Well, and that's good enough for us where we are right well, now. Well, it is, and it always says other duties as assigned. If we find out that this piece doesn't work for as director of public works, and we, we can move it to the business manager or and we or can whatever. refine once we have some experience. Okay. Once we have, also, also, it depends. I think if hopefully <clears throat> we have interviews, <laughs> right, we'll find out what people's capabilities are, and that may evolve the position somewhat. And as you indicated. Seeing what's out there. Okay, so what we need documented then for the minutes is that we um, prove the position. That we, um, I can't remember, did we? The motion, the mo we've approved the position, the motion is on the floor. It's no, this, no, it, no, there was no motion because I opened this up as a discussion. So there's no motion right, right. now. The next motion is then to authorize. Sharon, we're, what we're saying is we have revisited and reflected, but we're not going to make any changes for all the reasons that we're saying. And so I think the motion that we have proposed becomes, and I'll ask it this way, is there a motion to authorize, um, Denise has been doing our posting, to authorize Denise to post, repost for the public works director. For how many weeks? Yeah, how many works, how many weeks? Was it two weeks? Does two weeks feel, Let's we have one right. applicant. We so have I, one applicant, we right? Want, we you know, would like to not lose one applicant. Two weeks is a typical, that's what we do. Two weeks, the state, the state does two weeks. It's really complex. Okay. I mean, when we were posting for the treasurer, we did it saying open till filled. Yeah. yeah we can do that. Too. But we, and if we can do that, and if it gets filled, we could say fine. open until filled. Let's do and that. Let's just go there. Okay. So now the motion is that we are going to authorize Denise to post the position with the note that it is open until filled. Is there a motion? So moved. Okay. Second. Mark second. Mark seconded. Okay. Any other discussion folks want to have? Well, I was just thinking that uh, this, this might save the electricity because to the extent that the you know, director of public works picks up the duties that John Poe is currently taking on, the Don will be running her vacuum less often. Well, he volunteers for everything. Well, I was thinking Don will run her vacuum less often. Can we not buy a vacuum? So do you have anything, anything yeah. not tongue in cheek? The question I have is, let's say we put it out here two weeks later, we have the one person who already applied, we have two more people, we interview all three, and we say, well, you know, we really want to make an offer. Um, are we going to limit ourselves on to when we can make an offer? We're saying it's open until filled? No, no, no. I don't. No, we, we got an ad for two weeks, but... Well, so I mean, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we should, we should give it two weeks. That's, yeah, two I'm, kind of, I'm, minimum, I'm drifting back to, I'm drifting back to we should announce to folks, and we have been very transparent. We have an applicant who we have not formally interviewed um, that we understand is still interested. So we don't want to lose that person, but we want to be fair. Now that everybody in town knows about this position, so we can post it for two weeks. Post it for two, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. And then to be on that until yeah. filled. And, and if this, and if none of the, I mean, we have it in deal with that next meeting. That's right. right. We can do it if we don't fill it. Well, it's going to take a, the way the papers and stuff work yeah. now. It's probably some of it's not going to get posted until next week. Okay. But anyways. So what do we say? Where it's posted until August. 20, I don't know, I can't. Let's say the end of August. Till the end of August. Okay. Okay, there we go. Um, there's a motion on the table that we've just amended um, to the end of August posting. So we have to vote on the- Accept the friendly, friendly amendment. Yeah. Accept the posting and 
the PA, Times Argus. Times Argus, Hard of Gazette. Front Porch Forum. Front Porch Forum, a whole bunch of different Facebook pages is what I did last time. Oh, okay. um, and um, I think last time. The Lee had a. Yes, that's the other job. Yep, so VLCT yeah. Facebook pages. Appropriate. And I'll put post in the treasurer or business manager one will get posted in the same places. But. Okay, good to know. Okay, so appropriate Facebook pages. Uh, Porch Forum, the town's website. Town's website, maybe seven days. Mm. That's what we did before the seven days. Hardwick Gazette. Far and wide is good. And Times Argus. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different places. So that means that's what we did before. Sounds sufficient. That's right. All right. Um, friendly amendment, end of August posting in these places. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. All right. Um, Thank you. Oh, thanks, and thank you, Don. I appreciate hearing this discussion. I wish more people were here too. Well, you can hear your. You can be the ambassador, Don. Yes. Send the letter around. Thank you. You know a lot of people. You can let them know. Thanks, John. All right. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, additional signage. Oh yes. So I had an e I had a call from Heidi Thompson. Before I go into the additional signage. Before I could talk about, before we talked about signage, she goes, I just want you to know that Lewis and I, that's her husband, um, are very supportive of the select board. We appreciate everything they do. We know how hard you guys work, that you put in a lot of hours that people don't know about and don't appreciate. She wanted me to, to know that and to pass it on to the rest of the board. Very we don't nice. get very many compliments. Really so nice. yeah, I really wanted you guys to hear what she had to say. She said she said a few more things, but I can't remember. But the just gist of it is she and Franco, Louis Franco, really support us. They really are happy with what we do. They know we work really hard. And she said, you work really hard for a lot of money, right? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So anyways, no, it was, it was very nice. A very, I felt it was a really genuine yeah. heartfelt comment. Sounds like it. Okay. So, yeah, thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Can I mention something I forgot to do? Let's do the item and then we can, okay. we have a round robin. Good, okay. Perfect okay. chance for that. Okay. What about the pay data? We're not there yet. We're not. Welcome to our community swim area. Please remember, no fires, no alcoholic beverages, no smoking, no dogs, no glass containers. We thank you for your support. Great. So, um, that's there. There is one there. They, well, there's one similar to that there. They would like to purchase two additional signs. Are you thank you, Larry. I am. You don't have to. Thank you, Larry. You, you, you want to hear your comment or say anything? You know, I'm, I'm Manny here as a representative. I will say that I appreciate the board's remarks about um, the last meeting and folks' points of view and how you take them into account. I think it's really, really very important. Yeah. So, we're going to get so wet. Yeah, I know. I was hoping we got it in before this. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, Larry. So, so, so they would like permission to purchase two additional signs. Go on. Four. Two additional signs at the cost of about 120 or 25 dollars. Last total, the two signs. And I wanted to hurry up and do this because this is already August 8th. If we wait till the 22nd, it's yeah, yeah. So, I make a motion that we um, authorize purchase of signs, two signs, to, as described. So no, not to exceed, oh, actually, I don't want to make the motion. I should ask for the motion. Never mind, I'm asking for the motion. Okay, I make that motion. Okay. With an amount not to exceed, let's say, 150. 150, just in case. Okay. Each? 100. Total. Oh, total. Okay. Each time. All right, so there's a motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Um, any other discussion or questions? I'd like the record to reflect that. I'm going to vote for the motion. I could, I have recused myself with respect to this dam because I have a camp on Curtis Pond 
but given the nature of this item, I don't feel the need to recuse myself unless no, it's the sense of the board that I should. Are you going to be making the signs? No. Then you're fine. Yeah, I think you're fine. Okay. I just wanted to. No, I really appreciate. I appreciate. You know, I feel like you're fine. I'm sorry for yeah. being flippant about it. I, I shouldn't do that. Okay. No. No. All right. It's fine. Well, then I vote yes on the motion. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Um, well, me too. All in favor, please say aye. 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 I found my road crew memo that got stuck to something else. Okay. okay. Um, I, I also, so that was an action item. Uh, I had a townsperson send me, did I send you guys the forward photos that I got from a townsperson? I might not, I might apologize for not doing that. I got them, um, I got photos. Of, one of my neighbors was doing a Sunday afternoon drive. I imagine I'm sort of augmenting what I actually know for sure. But it was in Thetford or Tunbridge, I can never remember. Um, one of those towns. And you know, I was impressed with the with the road maintenance as a general matter. Road signs uh, no no invasives, he said. Um, sign roads nice and you know, narrow and felt like country roads. And one of the signs that he sent me a picture of is, we've seen this, I have seen this sign, not in Callis, but the one that says bicycles may use the entire lane. Oh, after you told me about that, I did see one of those. Yeah, no, there are, there are. I've heard that they're in, like, there's not really a big person, and they said, I think it was Stratford. Oh, Stratford, that could be it. Yeah. Are they in the MUTCD, though? I mean, the manual uniform traffic control devices, which is by extension. I don't know. We have to follow it. They also mentioned that this road was 40 and it's a paved road. I know the road. The road between Stratford and, you know, when you go across the hill from Sharon and you get that road, which is in Stratford, that's 40 over through there and, and lower. I, I, uh, yeah. I think, I don't. It's been my understanding that bicycles have the right to use the entire lane. They're treated as yes, as, yeah, they do as be, you know vehicles. It's like, well, just like horses do. Yes. If somebody's riding a horse, they yes. have the right to use right. you know yes. an entire lane. And we expect the bicyclists to signal for us and and respect distances. And we as motorists are, are similarly supposed to do that. Anyway, so this person said, "Can't we have these signs in Callis on County Road?" Um, and yeah, they're and, advisory. Anywhere else, yeah. And bicycle I, may use the entire lane. I'm not completely comfortable that until we check. That, I mean, we are covered by the, the MUTCD. That's the main on uniform traffic control, for traffic control devices. It's uh, Ashto. You know, we, you don't really go and create your own you know, signs this way. We just should be a little careful. So, does it authorize? Sorry, I'm speaking with my mouth full. Like the the guy on the track with the straw hat, is that in there? Yeah, well, I don't know. I, I can't tell you right off, but there are, there are many, many, many signs. Well, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me read to you. Let me read to you what the VTrans website says. What does it say? Bicycles. I uh, just Google this. Have the same rights to the road as motor vehicles. However, they are obligated to ride as far to the right as practicable. Um, and we could have a sign that said that says bicycles have the same rights to the road as motor vehicles. Please share the road or something like that. I've seen the share the road. It's Please called share it's a road. share the road booklet. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so this is just a discussion. Item. It's just a discussion. So I think you should check it out and we should bring yeah. it back. Yeah. And I would think if we do it, we don't do well, we it. We don't do it as an advisory sign, which is yellow, right? Yeah. That we do this as some kind of different sign. Not associated with, I mean, you've got regulatory signs, you've got advisory signs. Right. They're very specific things. The, the, I'm going to send you the link. The VTrans booklet has advisory signs. It has a bicycle. Right. It has a, a pedestrian, right. and it has a share the road. That's so good. Share I, that's road. Right. Those are advisory signs. That's what we can use what they have. You can't go and create. Right? Yeah. You call it. If, if you want to ask. <laughs> I think that Rick, you should you should find out whatever you're going to find out and tell Sharon so she yeah and Denise can either put it on the agenda or not depending on whether I'm making guess, a note to do that right now. Okay, I guess my question is, are we talking because we couldn't put them on 14, right? Because we trans we have right. We're not in charge of that road. We're only looking to put them on county road. Or are we looking to put them on back roads? 
County Road, I would imagine, certainly. Okay. Um, yeah. That's the only place that matters, for God's sake. People ride where they're going to ride. You know, you ride. I know I've ridden all over the dirt roads and yeah. on my electric bike. And yeah, you ride right down ride the middle. where you can until your car comes around the middle and then you move over. Right. Right. Um, well, yes, I wanted, to, I wanted to put that out there. So do we want to a proposal to approve in two weeks? Does that approve? Yeah. Stratford. Stratford. You well, said John is sending a link, so that should help. Okay. Okay. okay, so who's going to, who's going to, um, will you let Sharon Rick know? or John, yeah. is one of you going to give me a proposal for the 22nd? I think it's got to be Rick. Rick, yeah, proposal I'm for right. 822. Bite signs? Right. Bite signage. Yeah, okay. I'm going to be on vacation. He's majority. I'm going to be in Maine starting Friday through most of the next week, but I'll actually just put on you. Know, you, 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 you lay it on the beach, you can look to stuff. John's okay. gonna send you the link. Yeah. All we I, um, I've got I know what the MTC is. Yeah, we don't need the we don't need a, a one pager, we just need a statement. He's the, right. he's the guardian of the stand. How many signs would we want? Two county road? Four. 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 Two different spots Four. on county road on each direction. Right. We want some going this way and some going that way. So it's total of four signs. Four signs for now. And then, yeah. Rick, all you have to do is let me know what the sign is going to say. And, and, you know, and if there's something else that's slow, bicycle, I don't know, bicycle route or something. So I, I, yeah, can I chime in on this? Yeah. Could it be? Could we just have a rifle, um, rifle that says speeders will be shot on the side? I, I, I'm all for that. Be people for that, yeah. So, I had a great misfortune to, to first have my tractor disabled in the middle of bailing and then the rain came the next day and I didn't get my hair. That would have been bad and I was very distracted when I couldn't move my tractor because the motor wouldn't go up. And I started walking from the field, I was out on Lane's property, um, up County Road in the to the side, facing traffic, heading north, between Wheeler Road and this road, I walked to this road. And if I was distracted and, and upset by what happened to my tractor, which I was, really angry and pissed off, um, that was suddenly forgotten because I was literally diving out of the road from my life. It was out of control. It made route, it was like Route 14. The car coming, they didn't care that I was a pedestrian, it was bright light, I was really obvious, white t-shirt, and they came down, they did not give me any space, 70, 80 miles an hour, this is not 50, it was unbelievable, and in coming north, well their first this pickup truck came down so fast, brand new, super duper, macho man truck, um, came down, and you know, whoa, and then coming north, these cars were like, there was a car going the speed limit about, which is fast, 50, and this pickup truck passed the car, and another one was behind them, and it's that stretch it's in awesome. between, before you get to Stan Morse's farm, and before you get to Cynthia's Morse's place, it was insane. I was like rocked, and, and I people, could not believe what And people, the and people pass on the double yellow line. Oh, oh yeah. They were all they passing, they were passing those two slow 50 right. mile yeah. hour cars. It was unbelievable. And I don't have a solution. I mean, these people were insane. And it wasn't one person, the people going north and south. I literally couldn't What's walk. Okay. By the way, the shoulder is so narrow. When people are going like that, you cannot walk on that road. What? Well, we've got, God forbid you had a bicycle on that road. Man. What, uh, what time of day was it? It was. I don't know, 3.30 in the afternoon? Well, I hear a bus is pretty often winding out on that road. I live on Martin right off of that, so I'm counting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's, and it's with regularity, but that's what our signs, we, we're going to be able to pick out these times when these guys are moving. And then the only way to get them is with yeah. enforcement, because those are your chronic... Yes, we're going to be having cameras. Well, I've got... Mm -hmm. Well, I, don't, I, don't I shouldn't have even gonna, said that. We're not going there tonight. <laughs> sure. like, so one more we finish. We finish. Yeah. So the other part I want to tell you, I've talked to some folks from Woodbury yeah. about the value of their 
speed control signs that we're doing too, and they're like, watch out what you what you ask for. I'm like, what? And they're like, the Yahoos are using this to clock their car to see how fast they can go. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So they're like, instead of saying, oh, I'm coming to a 35, it tells you your speed. So if there's a way to disable that, there is. you know, over a certain speed, because these guys, I think, I think the Woodbury one goes to 90, they, the person told me. So these guys are trying to get their cars and motorcycles and everything else they ride as fast as they can coming into town so they can pin the meter. I mean, I'll see if you can, I think that these signs, you can have a high limit on it. Yeah. And it's, and uh, like, or just have slow down, right? Well, yeah, it's not high limited as, Instead you know, of the job fair fair it is a little bit over speed limit and they say slow down. We don't want these guys to have it. What we're going to do yeah, to like two, the, the key is here, you know, it's a combination. Most people respond to these. You always have that 5% lawless, yeah. and those you get with enforcement. Yeah. And that's where watching when they're moving, and they move at the same times. Yeah, they do. It's right. not random, and boy, you can pick, you can yeah. pick them off, and you can do it affordably. That's, and that's what, that's the goal awesome. here. That's what, so, yeah, I mean, the, without like major geometry changes to a road, I mean, one, believe it or not, one thing we can look at, I have to look at what the lane width is on that road. But we have this not enough shoulder rig. We need more. Hey, listen, listen to this. That I, if, it's, walk. if that's a twelve foot lane, where we can run, we can run narrow down to eleven with a white line giving a foot of pavement, and just that will drop the speed limit. Because we did it. We did it in on Route Thirty in Middlebury. Good. Yeah. We, and it was on a state route. Good. From twelve to eleven, it cut the speed down like fifty miles. Yeah, and that'll give a, and that'll create awesome. a bike lane. And, and then we can have more of a then we can have bike, bike lane. And this is signs. this is something. This is going to be part of the strategy. It's not just one. But we have to have those visual cues. Oh, that, well, they're that never going to start getting the information. I've got. I've got this. I have these for you to review. And we can, I put two options on here for the signs. Let's, let's, um, I, I, okay, so, yeah, ready to move on then? Yeah, I think yeah. we're ready to move on. So I, thanks for saying that, but I know it's, so, yeah, so measure that with for the next meeting, man, that'd be great. So I right. have us on bicycle signs on August 22nd. We, we set right. four it's signs. Right. Um, okay, so then, okay, this is a update on the pay data, um, pay data discussions. Um, so you guys authorized, we approved pay data um, after comparing pay data with some other possibilities. We got to the contract um, and we had our lawyers look at it and it wasn't a hard no, but it was some, there were some things that we asked them if we could if we could, we could we ask pay data. We we asked pay data to, you know, there was some language that we we not specifics. We just said we got some changes that we'd like. So so um, or like to discuss with you. Um, and they said not not right away, but after some back and forth, no. So that. I'm not here to say there's no way we're ever going to use pay data, but what Denise and I would like is just to, we're, what we're going to do is look at some other possibilities. There's a lot of pay, payroll services out there, so we, pay data has a Vermont footprint. We liked that. We, other, some other municipalities use them, but they're not the only ones. So we'll investigate some other possibilities and bring right. it back Actually, another time. Is there actual problems that are town attorney or you guys? Um, uh, no, we gave it to him. We gave it to Joe. Yeah, and I mean, he didn't say don't sign this, absolutely not. He just raised a few things, and you know, the first thing you do is say, hey, we'd like, you know, could you send me a word copy? No. Did, uh, were they by any chance the indemnification? Yes. 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 They wanted to, us to indemnify them no matter whether it was our negligence or not. Right. That's right. Okay, well, just, I'm perfectly happy with you doing it, but I just want to tell you, I've been through this 20 times. What I do is I just write into the contract and just take my pen and, and I write in due to our negligence or malfeasance. So you just well there's and I put it in there and I initial it and sign the contract and send it back to them. There's and a I say to them, sign it or don't. Yeah. And just say you guys are you know, you're way overreaching. 
Well, that's, no, that's, that's, not, that's, not, that's, that's a thought. That's a thought. Jim probably wouldn't recommend. Hey, if they sign it, right. then. If they initial it and sign it, then, then it's part of it. Well, and Joe's office uses a, pay a payroll. He uses a different But I'm not saying it's up to you. I'm just letting you know. It, that. I've been there. It's, I can't say enough. Well, and that, that's, that's, no. that's a possibility. I do that in the doctor's office when they when I have to sign all the stuff. You know, I go through and edit what I will agree to and what I don't, and then I sign it. Um, I, yeah, so, and, and I'm not here saying absolutely no way. I'm, I'm here saying it's felt like, you know, let's take a look at some other possibilities. Did but, they say, no, we won't change the contract, or no, we're not going to send you a word version? They said they well, would change it. They wouldn't change it. Yeah. yeah. They're not going to send, they're not going to yeah. do either. Yeah. So, well, they're they're gonna, quiet. because yeah. if, they, cause if I, well, we're not big enough, okay. and if they send us a word document, they know we're going to tinker right. around with it probably. We're state of Vermont, they'd be like, Right. No, I, I do think that there was something, yeah, we're pretty small we're potatoes and we're, we're not. Do you know who else uh, it. they work for? They work, yeah. they have a lot they of contacts. We right. Okay, well, you know one thing I would do? Well, you may not want to bother with this. I don't want to bother okay, with things that are just for fun. Somebody should send a note with a CC to them, to the League of Cities and Towns, and say, this is, you know, as you can see, this is unacceptable. You should notify, let people know. Notify all your members. Notify your members not to sign this. Well, all right. uh, maybe, maybe we, have, we have, have, that's a fun idea. When we have that's time. a very fun idea. I, I, Thank I just you. Don't feel, like feel like amusing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, when we get everything else done, we'll consider. I see. Okay. That's right. I'm right now, we're trying to stay oh, focused. Why do we do it? Yeah, Mark, do it. Stay, you stay focused on uh, next time. Next time I have lunch with what's his name who runs the league. Oh, Ted Brady. Ted, I'll tell him. Hey, okay, come on, Ted. Step up for your town. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Um, okay, so that's the update. Yeah, stay, stay tuned. tuned. Nine. Yep. Um, Rick has a couple of. So now, so now, guys, we actually have a chance to go through and just do a quick round robin. And the, the point of this is for people to say. I just want to give everyone an update on, you know, yeah, something. Right. Rick has a couple of things he wants to mention to us. Denise, I think you might. Yeah, I have something. One is, what is Alfred and I have been talking about that the speed bump we approved last week, mm -hmm. I mean last meeting, uh -huh. and we have, we checked into what, you know how I talked about the group payment grinder? We can, grind, we can rent a grinder for like 350 bucks for a day and groove that instead of putting in the speed bump. In, as an interim step, they're a lot safer than a lot of that. You've heard me say that. So I'd like to do that. In, we've already talked to Alfred about so groove section, space, groove section. Groove section, you space. start with like one or one or two, and then it's three or four. Oh, I right, you love know, it. So I do that. I love it. And then what we'll do, though, we're, you know, we're going to move the radar sign probably top of the hill. You're right. Three to 500 feet before the brow. And the groove save it starts kind of right there and goes to the ground. And warning for motorcycles, groove pavement ahead. Interesting. That's or a good we can We can add that in science. It's science yeah. expensive. So do we feel like we need to warn this change, guys? If, do we, it's an expenditure, so. Can well, we, no, no, we voted on speed bumps. Well, that's what I mean, it's an expenditure, so we this have to. This is gonna be less well, I think we should warn it. Do we have to warn it? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. We know we're gonna go ahead and we'll just move the sign to begin with, because it's not gonna be Right, I right, know, yeah, we don't. We, what we'll are do you is, okay with the two week delay? Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then now that's one. And I have one question now. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'm so what assuming that grooming the pavement will reduce its lifespan, right? Because um, no, no. Uh, okay. no, so what's it called? The, the even groove pavement. Groove pavement. Groove pavement, and as alternative to to the yeah, yeah. And, and then and when it's repaved, we have to groove it again. Right, it takes three hundred fifty months. You know, yeah. so maybe, who knows? Maybe how long? Maybe they'll do it. They'll do it. Yeah. How long section you go how many we'll figure that out for that speed okay. i mean you get you have a gap you have a, it starts as a single or two groups and oh, then I see. you so go a flat gap and then speed. they're five groups a whole damn road and they slow down there you go yeah well, our yeah, county road is like the that the beauty now. is it's safe <laughs> yeah, right. and, right. and i feel a lot better put it back to alfred had the same concerns i do you know that's a guy because of the people you talk about coming you know coming down there at extreme speed like that you hit something
speed bump? Yeah. Right. Doesn't do great things for your truck, but the truck's also out of control. So right. you got yeah. Well that and that kind of was I was my work. I was worried about that too. So let's just say out loud, if we're worried about those things, we shouldn't have approved the speed bumps. Well we were this was an intermittent step. This was a, we were well, and we were doing removal. the top. We were not and doing it down. Yeah, the yeah middle, but that would right? happen after the truck went. Well, the, the, we did it by what ways we were okay with was doing it well above the brow of the hill. Okay. okay. So, so that's the same yeah. spot. It's straight until the up hill. Okay. So, yeah. So, so, we'll, so we're I not going to So my understanding is a speed bump, we were going to possibly lay down on the dirt section. No, we were, no, 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 we were. I do want to speak dirt. Yeah. No, because I asked, I asked about dirt and they said no. no. It, we were going to put it above the brow beyond the sign. So uh, you see the sign. So many feet. Yeah, that's why. Because I wondered if we could put them on Lake Bridge, and they, these guys said I can't put them on the ground. Okay, guys, so we're going to we're going to warn that for next oh, time. You have something else? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay, we're moving on. The other on. thing is, I've got for you guys to review. This is that radar sign. I'll just yell. Are these copies for yeah. one for each of us? Yeah. Okay. Thank and you. I just, you. What I did is I did two options. Four signs and two Ooh, signs. this is the one pager. And I mixed, I made it as clean as you could. It's beautiful. And then just, uh, I gave a little, oh, okay. So, I had one for the Spryer. Did you give Alfred one? Uh, no, he this, yeah, he will get to see it. We've talked about all this stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what I did is, is I set this up, in the four package here, the four, there would be four signs, and they would be these TS-600 signs, which are all of these, which are the ones that we can go to track speed data. Now, I bet I'm going to do it in a configuration. Two of them will be on poles. Back in that packet, you'll see the concrete plugs that they got mounted on. And that's what we would do on a place like Lightning Ridge. Like we'll set the concrete bases which are about 900 bucks a piece. And we'll put two or three on one long green lightning ridge, and we'll literally unscrew the pollen sign periodically and move them from base to base. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there'd be two of those that we buy, and then we would buy two of the movable pedestal signs. And there's a picture of those in the back. Now, what we wouldn't do is the, the if you see, yeah, you see the, the orange brown base. Yes, now this. Skillet. No, well, we might have to lock it down. We're going to have to experiment here. But this is the, we won't have this sign on it. We're going to have the big sign with the solar array that is programmable. This is a battery powered sign. We want to have, we want to actually be able to move this, put it out. We'll have to figure out a way to lock it down, make a chain, whatever. But in this, they actually have, because they're, you know, they've had trouble with vandalism on these signs. So they actually have guards on them. So like Protect against that. Yeah, yeah the, and uh, I bought a few extra bases in that four, so we have we, with the concrete bases. And this, so, Rick, let me interpret mm -hmm. what I'm seeing here so everyone can be oriented. Yeah. I'm seeing that you've, you've outlined the exact same proposal one if we buy four, and one if we buy. Two. two. Right. And so number one is for four, and number two is for two. And so other than that, they're exactly oh, the same. I yeah, didn't. Pretty much. I didn't understand. I thought these were cumulative. No. 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 One, a, one is four is signs. For $30,000. For $30,000. And this that is the second one. option. They're not, they're movable. But yeah, they're all, bases. They're, they have bases, and then you put them in the base. They're all, all four are movable. Well, no, they're all four movable. The two of the pair are in concrete plugs. Yeah. They're still movable, but it's yeah. a lot more difficult. Yeah. The other ones are on the mobile base. Um, and so, so Alfred can actually use it when we do bridge work. And do so it. we can so, get them anywhere around the Rick, this, is, this is awesome. This is what we need. Yeah. Let me, so down at the bottom, the second yellow box, this says grand total of four, but that means you meant two there, right? Which, uh, let me, like, which one is it now? The second one. It says grand total of four, but you mean grand total of two. I had great to Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so can I so can I just ask you guys this? So we have had so we've been carrying speeding on county road on this agenda for two years. Two years, yes. And and we've had many pleas and email for us to please, please move it along. 
do, and we mentioned earlier, this could be something for the ARPA funds. So let me ask this question. Um, would we want to consider, given that we've carried this around for two years, um, would we want to consider warning, approving ARPA funds for this um, before putting it in front of the town in March? I would do that way. I would do that I don't think anybody... I think they would hug us. Right. I don't think anybody would complain about us buying these signs that we can move around. That's the only right. people that might complain are the speeders, and they're not going to complain. So do you guys, so do you, can we put it on for next agenda? Well, can I want? ask you one thing? If yeah. you do that, and, and like what I, was, what I was doing was buying basically two or three concrete plugs for Lightning Ridge. Now, what we may want to do is spend another couple grand, 2000 buy two other plugs. Something for um, for the county road because these are that way. I thought we were talking about. We could do we could use one of the rolling signs, but on county road it may be worth our having one of these good ones. But we and this these are going to give us our traffic count data, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, this, so I feel like there's I feel like there's so much yeah. energy and yeah. you know Doug came and because we we're going into executive session he didn't stay. Right. Um, I think this is something people have been pleading for us to do. So this is not now just we have money to be able now to we have money. It doesn't. It feels like they need us to do something that they're asking us to do. And this is you really, know, you know this, I would you know, suggest this is really visible. We yeah. should have at least a ten-year life more. So my point is, is no, I don't feel a need to be particularly conservative. What do we I need on like Yeah. Well, take this. Amplify it to where you're happy. You should have it warned for the next meeting and right. use the ARPA fund. Well, what, I, what's your thought, John? Uh, well, in addition to this, I, I think we need to warn uh, speed ordinance amendment and just put 40 in there. Traffic study and be damned. I am tired of this. You I know, do it. I, I think we just do it. We warn. We warn the uh, ordinance amendment. We put 40. Up and down, wherever it's 50. Which, which ordinance are you talking for? Yeah, but we have a traffic control. I remember some years ago, the yeah. sheriff said, unless you have it in your ordinance as a warrant ordinance, they can't enforce the speed. Remember, we went and added, we had a bunch of signage out that are raised legitimate. Right, they weren't the right height. For them. Well, no, we had the speeds like on, um, what's that connector road between Lightning Ridge and Tucker by the elementary school? Oh, yeah, I know. So that, that, that was not a Cray proper road. Cray road. Speed. It was right. never part of a warned hearing. So anytime you impose a traffic ordinance, it has to be part of a warned hearing. I, I would do you like for our select board to. Do you, do you want to work with John on going through the ordinance and make. Let's do it. We John and Rick. Rick, Rick. I, 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 it? Yeah, I think Let's we do it. We can yeah. Okay, so I, I will. I it John be difficult to reach except by email at some point. John and Rick traffic mm -hmm. ordinance. Do you right. want this yeah. on for the first meeting? I no, wanted, you want to. I, I want it last meeting. No, so, no, but to be next, real, the second meeting of September? The first meeting. First meeting of September. First meeting of September. Yeah, right. So that's it's September 12th. Well, well. Okay, but, but, but for the next meeting, Rick, I heard Mark, go ahead, make your invitation. I think you should take option one, and you should put in it whatever you think you need. If it's a couple more bases, fine, in order to do this right. So well, yes, we don't have we don't. I think you should supply the information and we should warn for our next regular meeting right. adoption use of ARPA funds to do it. Because I'd, like, right. I'd like to see us be able to do it on Lightning Ridge, put one on number 10 Con Road, where we go too fast and the road really narrow. And well, West County Road, West off by Pat, Pat, what's your name's house? Yes. That's another flat. They Pat Walters house. 60 miles. Well, we, that's the idea with these rolling base. Like uh, myself. So we really want to. No, I, I mean, I want to, they're really super mobile. The other ones, you know, yeah, you've got to plant. Yeah, I'd say you just take them one right. person can move. Well, I yeah. think we should get enough mobile things that we can move them around easily rather than being limited to 
we could take them out in the winter. We so could buy a full normal basis and just have four sides. I mean, I think there's some sense in not going out. I think we're going to get more than four. Let's size. experiment with these. I actually probably it. like the, the, the concrete because it's a sense of permanence being there. It does, right. but it's not very flexible because you can't go dig these up. No, I get that, yeah. but, but, so what, but, you, but you could take the pole out and move well, that. That's what he suggested. That's take why that we, out and put it into this mobile. I think one county oh. road. I see. This makes sense. So both we have, and. Yeah. We have, but we that's have why we want to mix. You want to have two of these. So we still want to have the cement, but then we'll have some carts that. Right, and we can move it. Well, I would say maybe we get, maybe we get six or, you know, so we spend six thousand. I'm hearing, I haven't heard us say no yet. Yeah. yeah. So, so, well, I'm good with that if you guys so are. you guys go ahead. I want you to do something that's ridiculous, but. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm not trying to be conservative. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't, I think you're hearing, to. that's where you're hearing no. No, no, no. No need to be conservative. Well, remember, what do we really need? If these work, you got it. add more. You got it. It's on the next agenda for use of we'll ARPA funds. Right. Yeah, okay. Um, anybody? We'll give her a number. So she Denise has a agenda. couple of things. Denise. Well, I want to just yeah. do Yeah, we, we will circle back to we'll this. Circle. Denise, you have some items for round round? I just have one thing. Um, tax bills. Oh, yeah. Um, I have recruited myself, Jan Olson, and Mary Rockstad, and Barbara Butler offered to help. Very nice. On Thursday, I've made arrangements with Wendy from Nemrick. She's going to come to the office to be on site to run the tax bills. We'll stuff. We'll do the best. Thursday. 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 We'll do our best. I can't do that. And I didn't expect it. Yeah. I didn't expect, I I didn't expect, expect, I didn't expect yeah. anybody else. I've been kind of on top of this. I found, I think I found. Those are good people. Really good people to help me. Yep. They're smart. Yeah. You know, Jan can help with some of the stuff, with the list of stuff, with the new, you know, new property owners. So that'll be good to have her on site. Um, all right, tomorrow um, is election day. I am on, I told them, they asked me, and I've done it before, and it's no big deal. I'll be on call in case somebody else isn't able to show up. If somebody comes down sick, I'll be available to show up. I'll go pick up their lunch at Maple Corner and deliver it to them. Thank you. And I'm going to, at the end of the, by around 5 o'clock, I'm going to go to the town office, pick up the mail that's in the mailbox, and I'm going to open the drop box and bring any, un, you know, bring the ballots here. They gave me the key. They left it for me tonight. And it's here. Okay. Yeah. So those are the two things. So everybody knows what's going on. Thank you. I do have just a couple of good pieces of good news. Lots Some of some of you know. Uh, Denise certainly knows the permit application for the GM has yes. been fi cool. filed. Yes. Paid for, filed, and literally and they're handed thrilled. to them, and they, everybody's happy. Yeah. So. The second is that the bids for the East Cali store went out to the, No, they went out Well, they, 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 they were advertised, and as of today, they are available on the website of uh, the company that's going to be construction. Yeah, well. yeah. Well. So that's a terrific step forward. That was only possible because we are have a, a, a almost certain, not absolutely certain, but we a week, commitment of a construction loan from the Vermont Community Loan Fund, 4% fixed. So no matter what happens to interest rates, which right. is really yeah. great news. Right. Not that's not permanent financing, that's just, you know, like a line of credit for construction. Right. So Thank that's you. all yeah. I wanted to say. Well, John Long. Um, you got anything? Texting our attorney, uh, the woman who used to own the big white gelding, just texted me, and I'm going to be contacting. This is on, you know the camera's still on. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Right. Um, uh, our attorney, Joe McLean, tomorrow morning, I'm texting already uh, and discussing this, how we can move forward um, with this. So, okay, great. Um, she expressed interest in reacquiring the horse that she sold to, the, to actually Carl Shed. Um, so, we're going to work on that. Okay. Yeah. I don't work. think I have anything that I need to chime in on. Yeah, Lisa said she would do the minutes from the recording. How soon can Orca get that posted? Um, 
couple of days. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll let her know. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, the website. Right. Okay. So, okay. yeah, so we have a few items teed up for the 22nd that you can see on the advanced list of items. We've added two or three tonight. Um, I guess one thing we should circle back to, um, we're going to post the position for um, public works director. Do we want and treasurer business manager and that one? But I'm yes. But do we want to schedule an interview with the one candidate that we have? Do we want to? I'd like to make it so that it's all of us. Yes, I agree with that. And John's John's out for John. So let's so let's get our we can we can do this kind of agenda planning in email. Mm -hmm. So let's have a conversation in email about scheduling. And it doesn't an have interview. To, and it doesn't have to be at a select board meeting. We could do it. Right. We'd have to warn we'd have it. Have to warn it as a special meeting. And then go into executive right. session for the interview. So just be watching your email for some activity I'm trying to schedule. Can I ask, somebody mentioned the meeting to Thursday night. This is not on my calendar. Uh, um, it is, it is fire department. a joint meeting with the fire department. I have materials. I've asked them to share them with everybody, but that seems to be against their sense of order. So I have to forward okay. to everybody. I don't know if I can make that. I have a meeting. Well, I said, I cancel it. I sent to everybody too? No, I sent them an email and said, we have it down that we're meeting. Do you have? I have. They sent it only to me. I know. That's yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to ask them to do that different because I just I had sent them an email. Maybe that's what prompted it. Who knows? I have it. I'm sorry that you all don't have it, but it it is with the it's the joint meeting with the fire department and the East Point Players Select Board right. on Thursday night. Okay. Right. Okay. So guys, we're Can meeting we again. Um, yeah, we're meeting on Wednesday in special meeting for a few housekeeping items that we teed up. It's at six o'clock. We will begin by going into executive session for a personnel a personnel item. And I want to make sure somebody's available to review this special. Are you going to be available to look at the agenda to make sure I got? I did tonight? look at it, but now it's now, it's, now, now it's stale. Yeah. Now we got more. So yes. I just want to make sure I get yes. I will. I will. I do. Yeah. I have clients. Um, I have you know my life tomorrow. But right. Yes. All right. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Yay. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye.